and it's green and they are racing in snowshoe at the UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country World Cup. Martina Berda on the right hand side of your picture yeah, leads them away. Richards. Evie yeah. Richards is right alongside her at the top of this climb. It does bottleneck slightly, so they will have to get over to the and right hand side of the track. Big Peter a good start, Evie Richards, Martina Berta. They head out on to the start and a crash again. A in the middle. Up, a pile up in the middle. We'll wait to get confirmation of those involved. Doesn't look like any of the big guns a have been caught up in it. A couple of US riders involved with that, but it was far in the back of the group. Yeah, it's Evie Richards who leads them the one to the start loop. Then it's Berta, then Peterson. Richards. A yeah, good start of Evie Richards. Fancy's picking up where she left off in the short track on Friday night. There's Berta, there's Peterson, there's Steger, Henderson's there. Julia the Blink, the US champion. Look at the speed they covered that ground, early yeah. doors bar. Yeah, the riders didn't know uh, in that uh, long descent. Um, yeah, there is a bottleneck. Nice group. <laughs> Big names in there. Some, some horsepower in there. <laughs> it is. 31 seconds back the distance between Peterson and Mitterwalder. Yeah, there's there more than a bit on the table. And Jennifer Jackson, the Canadian champion. Here they go through the technical descent, and this is where Evie Richards is so, so strong. Berta. Henderson. And there's Keller That's on the number Keller. four line. Yeah, oh. you see how difficult it is. Gwendolyn Gibbs, uh, yeah, it was Gwendolyn Gibbs from Sevilla Blink was in front of her. Gibson just yeah. bobbled off to yeah, one sorry, side there. Yolanda Neff, how fast she is. She was overtaking riders. Yolanda Neff down there like a rocket. She left. There is Sevilla Blunt, the rock rider Ford team with her new teammate, Samara Maxwell. Superb earlier on today. The three Swiss riders with Yolanda Neff, Alessandra Keller next to her. Here comes Mona Mitterwald. Mona Mitterwald. Mitterwald. Jenny Rissfeds. Passing Rissfeds, the ghost trade line up behind them that custom painted Cannondale factory racing machine for the last two rounds the whole team got new bikes problems though problems for Kate Courtney in that wood section the, the face is, the face is the muddy must have been a crash the bike is okay no flat tires the number 13 oh, upside no. down Courtney Rebecca Henderson is pushing hard Stieger second place Puck Peterson Martina Berta Lionel Lecomte First on the road, Haley Batten, her teammate on Specialized Racing, her rear gunner, then it's Peterson, Berta, Blanc, Lecomte. And there are little gaps now in between the riders. Oh, the momentum has stalled somewhat, she's in 13th now, a minute back as they come down for this technical section. Oh. And again for Big Peterson, a foot out. Foot out for Goes Peterson. A lot of time. Scrappy from Peterson needs to get back on the chasing group. A lot of space, but Hilly Batten's off and running now, so a little bobble from her somewhere. Wonder oh, she, what happened. She's there. running this section as well. She's just kept running. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get on your bike again on these technical back sections. On the bike. Wonder just what happened there to. Maybe, maybe too, just stalled maybe, behind yeah, Berta. Oh, too close on uh, Martina Berta's rear wheel. Maybe she touched her wheel a little bit, of just out of control. Especially on such a high heart rate. The Here mistake we go. is easily made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong line. Just got caught up riding the bike in front Dearly of her. Really love to clock another win here today. Yeah, riders are pushing hard, digging deep. There is Mona Mitterwalder. Mitterwalder still in 13th position. Yeah, but I mean, most of the time around yeah, health ray race time, she will come to her actually. Yeah. I think she's struggling a little bit in the descent with, with this hardtail bike. You see the cycling computer just ah, flicked up. Peterson again uh, yeah, off the it, bike. There you see the ripple effect. Yeah, yeah, it's now uh, Sevilla Blunk who is overtaking Kirk Peterson. It costs her a lot of time. Oh, it's too it's much time. through here. Yeah, and that's also because Kirk Peterson, she was struggling, so Haley Batten, she got 
Caught up to that. What do you do there, Bart? Can you can you drop further back off the rider yeah. in front to give yourself a bit yeah, more? Yeah, a little bit more space. Yeah, yeah that, that's what you can do. A personal message written on the handlebar there from the mechanic. And that's the gap in between the leader, Mona Mitterwald, who's on 13th place, the two Austrian riders. The, the, the feeling of a victory, the, the, the winning a race, it gives rec some extra power. Here we go, the Trek factory racing duo are past the specialized factory racing machine of Haley Batten. Richard and Neff, it was almost a one-two punch there. Neff got Batten's attention and Richard steamrolled her way past. Where, uh, there they are. There's the chase of two. Not that far off, fourth and fifth. Really, really greasy through here. Really tricky section. Puck Peterson up in amongst it. There is civilian. But not too much. Lecomte in the second now. Gets past Berta. Luan Lecomte, absolutely superb. She won that overall title. So young, Bart, you can get forgiven for thinking that she's uh, one of the old guard and she's been around for she years. She won the but first four, four rounds last yeah. year. Incredible. One of those riders, Lara Steger, heads on to the final lap. Six out of six. It's interesting. Yeah. Steger still floats that gap, though, deep into the race. As long as she's out of vision for Luana Lecomte, to Steger, that, will, uh, that might help her a little bit, but if... Luan Lecomte can't see here now. Whoa, Whoa. she made a mistake. Oh, oh, she oh, recovered oh, oh. that. Steger, stay clipped in there. Superb that, that's, skill. That's why she looked back over her shoulder immediately. But that didn't cost her too much time. Oh, Bart, this is too tense to watch. It is. And here we go through this route section that's caused so much problems in this race. Oh, so much effort. Yeah, yeah and another time. Another had a bobble there. With that could just out. kill her forward momentum slightly. Yeah, trying to find a good line over here. We need an update on this split time. There's Alana Lecomte, there's Martina Berta, there is Sevilla Blanc, and there's Yolanda Neff. That's your top five after six laps. 16 oh. seconds, she brought it back again with three. Oh. Laura Steger is about to get her first ever UCI Cross Country Olympic Mountain Bike World Cup win. Austria's Lara Steger can celebrate in Snowshoe, West Virginia. She takes the win. Absolutely unstoppable today. Lara Steger wins in Snowshoe. Oh, great performance. Absolutely superb from Steger. Behind her, Lou. It's Luana Lecomte. Second place, she left it just a little late, but big smiles on the line, as always, from Luana Lecomte of the Canyon Collective. Third over the line for Santa Cruz Rock Shocks Pro Team is Martina Berta, the Italian superb today, Sevilla Bunk. For Rock Rider Ford comes in fourth. And fifth place, back onto the podium. Trek Factory Racing XC's Yolanda Neff. Now we need to have a look uh, to the podium for the points. There's Puck Peterson in sixth. That should do it. That should be enough to give her the overall title. Where is Mona Mitterwalder? There's Evie Richards. A.V. Richards crosses the line, won the short track on Friday evening, seventh today. Huge amount of respect between the two track factory racing stars. That overall leader's jersey may have just become an overall title for Puck Peterson. They're coming in fast behind them. Batten, Risfit, Mitterwalder crosses the line. In 10th place. 10th place for Mona Mitterwalder. Congratulations, your first ever UCI World Cup Olympic win. How good did it feel crossing the finish line here in Sochi? Uh, it's, it's amazing, I have no words. I had a pretty hard time passing Worlds, so it hit me quite hard and coming back like this, it, it's just emotional and I have to thank everyone involved, um, the team, family, they are supporting me 
in every second, in every hard situation. And yeah, without them and also my coach, um, big, big thanks. Um, I can't be thankful enough for all their support. Um, without them, I wouldn't be there where I am today. Here's confirmation then. Lara Steger wins in snowshoe. Ahead of Lecomte, Berta, Blanc, Neff, Peterson, Richards, Batten, Rysvids, Mitterwalder, came home in 10th. Boe, Gibson, Terpstra, Fry, Keller, Henderson, Endergrand, Loif, Kate Courtney. What could have been? Crash in the woods. Halted her forward momentum early on. Lara Steger. takes her first ever UCI Cross Country Olympic World Cup top step for specialised factory racing. She was faultless today, just as you have to be to win one of these World Cup races. Steger wins in snowshoe. Ahead of Lecomte, Berta, Blanc and Neff back on the podium. One round to go and we don't have to wait long. Monsindana waits next weekend. Congratulations, not quite the podium finish, but it does feel like a fairy tale finish for you. Your first elite season and you've just claimed the overall. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, in my mind, I was uh, constantly busy uh, with the overall, and I'm uh, yeah, really happy that it uh, worked out. And what did you make of that track today? Because it was tough out there. Oh, like the first descent after the bridge, like four of the six laps, I went so slow and I had to click out. And then on the climbs, every time I could close it, and I had the feeling like I was really strong on the climbs. But then yeah, after four laps, it, yeah, it uh, got to me. And then uh, the descent went uh, better and better, but I, uh, I, yeah, I just barely couldn't catch up anymore with Yolanda. Do you have a The cyclocross phenom that was supposed to be here on a visit and excursion in the mountain biking has just locked up the overall title with a round to spare. But Peterson. Made it her own. Puck Peterson takes the title with one round to spare. Ahead of Mona Mitterwalner, Loanne Lecomson, Fern, then Keller, Steger, Ferran Bravo, Berta, Richards, Terpster, Risfids. The cross country Olympic overall title belongs to Alpacin de Kernix. Puck Peterson.